Hello everyone, Ryan Baxter here, and I'm back again with another video about IBM Bluemix. Uh, and this time we're going to be talking about some of the new features that are now available uh, as part of the IBM Containers offering in Bluemix. So you might have seen this blog post uh, out in the IBM Bluemix blog um, uh, a couple weeks ago um, about some of the new features that are going to go into effect um, uh, coming very soon, actually available today, but uh, will uh, start affecting everyone um, as far as uh, April 11th is concerned. Um, but one of the, the cool uh, new features that uh, is going into effect is uh, native Docker, Docker Compose support. Um, so Docker Compose is a nice little tool um, from Docker that allows you to uh, basically uh, compose applications uh, from multiple different Docker containers. And this is uh, particularly important um, for Docker because generally you only um, uh, place a, a single process in a single container. So when you have uh, an application that, for example, you know, has a, a database as well as a web application, you would actually run the database in one Docker container uh, and then the web application in another Docker container um, and but then you need a way of kind of orchestrating uh, the deployment and running of, of both of those containers to make the entire application work. So Docker Compose helps you out in that in that way. Uh, and up until this point, you haven't really been able to use Docker Compose with Bluemix. You kind of had to uh, do the deployment and orchestration of all the containers needed to get your application running uh, in IBM containers and Bluemix. Uh, yourself. So uh, with, with Docker Compose support, this gets a little bit easier. Um, so what I've gone ahead as an example uh, and, and done as an example of using Docker Compose on Bluemix is I've updated um, our uh, Blue Chatter uh, uh, sample application, um, which can be deployed as a Cloud Foundry application on Bluemix. It can also be deployed as a Docker container on Bluemix, uh, leveraging um, one of the uh, Bluemix services, Redis Cloud. Um, but now uh, we can also deploy it um, on Bluemix using Docker Compose and deploying both the web application piece as well as the Redis server needed by the web application uh, with Docker Compose. So you'd have uh, Redis running in one container and then the web application uh, running in another container. So I've outlined uh, the steps necessary to do that um, in the README. Uh, it's now live up on GitHub. Um, so I just thought I'd create a nice little video on how this all works. Um, so the first thing we need to do is pull the Redis image from Docker Hub into our private uh, registry on Bluemix. So to do that, uh, we can use this simple command here uh, that I've outlined in the README, which copies the image, uh, the Redis image from Docker Hub into our private registry on Bluemix. So you can just copy this command, head over to your terminal window, and uh, the first thing you're obviously going to want to do is make sure that you're, you're logged in uh, to the IBM Containers service. So um, you'll want to do uh, your typical CFIC login um, to log in with the, uh, the IBM Containers plugin. Um, and for, for this demo, we're actually going to use um, uh, choose option two here. Um, because uh, the, the way to make the Docker Compose uh, command line uh, utility work with uh, the IBM Container Service is to configure uh, your Docker CLI to point to Bluemix. So uh, we're going to use option two here after you log in. So we need to make sure that we set these environment variables. So we're going to copy these three uh, export commands and just run them in our terminal window to make sure that we set up our Docker um, command line utility to uh, use IPM Bluemix. So if I do that, then we'll be able to do commands like run commands like Docker PS uh, as an example above and Docker images. Um, and Docker images will point to my registry in Bluemix and we see all my um, images that I have deployed to my private registry in Bluemix. So we realize, so now we know that uh, our Docker CLI is pointing to Bluemix, which is good. Um, so now let's just run that uh, command to copy the Redis image over into our private registry in Bluemix. So I'll copy that command from the README again. Um, and you just need to make sure you replace the my namespace here in the URL 
uh, with your registry namespace in Bluemix. So mine is Ryan J. Baxter. So I'll replace that. And now that the Redis image is copied to my private registry, I can confirm that just by again running Docker images. Um, and we'll see that there should now be a Redis image here uh, in my registry, which is great. Um, and next, uh, the readme says that uh, we need to create a new file um, uh, called docker compose uh, bluemixyaml uh, And this doesn't have to be named exactly this. You could call it whatever you want, um, but this just separates um, uh, this docker compose file from the docker compose file that's already included in the repository. So uh, what we'll do is we'll just uh, Open uh, nano here and we'll um, create a new file called docker compose um, bluemix.yaml and we'll copy in uh, what we have here in the readme. And uh, again, we want to make sure that we replace the uh, my namespace placeholder here in the URLs to be. Uh, your namespace in Bluemix, um, which mine again is Ryan J. Baxter. And uh, here as well. Um, so just as uh, uh, a side note, the, the Redis image uh, has to be in your, um, in your private registry uh, to, to work here. It will, uh, using Docker Compose with Bluemix, uh, I can't pull images um, from um, Docker Hub, so you need to copy whatever images you might need from Docker Hub into your private registry in Bluemix before uh, you create the Docker Compose file and use those images um, in your Docker Compose file. Um, so if you happen to be using open source images like Redis or Mongo or whatever else uh, from Docker Hub, you just need to copy those into your private registry like we did with the Redis image. Uh, and then in your Docker Compose file, make sure you point to those uh, images in your private registry um, in order for this to work. Um, so we're going to save off this Docker Compose file. And then um, what we're going to do now uh, is uh, the we need to build the uh, uh, Blue Chatter image and place that in our registry as well. So um, Again, the command here to do that is located in the readme, so we'll just copy this command here uh, in our terminal window again, and then again, we will go ahead and make sure we use the right namespace. And this will go ahead and build the blue chatter Docker image and push it to our uh, private registry in Bluemix. All right, now finally, uh, we have both images in our private registry, um, so we can uh, now try and run uh, this Docker Compose file and use Docker Compose up to, to start uh, both images. Um, so again, the command to do that um, is specified here in the readme, so you just can copy this command here and then uh, paste it in your terminal window and uh, go ahead and run it. And we see here that uh, this Docker Compose uh, command is actually going to create two images. So the first one it's going to create is the Redis image. Um, and then next after that, uh, it will create the uh, Blue Chatter web app as well. Uh, and the image for that will be deployed. And um, this should uh, finish up rather quickly. It doesn't take too long to start these two. And uh, now that we've got both images running, we can confirm that just by doing Docker PS. Um, or if you want, uh, you can also do uh, CFIC uh, PS as well. Uh, but we see both images are, are, are running or almost running here. Uh, one is still building, uh, well now they're both running, um, which is good. Um, and just to, we'll wanna confirm uh, to make sure that Docker Compose did everything it was supposed to do. So one of the benefits of using Docker Compose is that it's going to set up the networking between the two containers. So because we specified in the Docker Compose file that the uh, Blue Chatter container links to the Redis container, um, Docker Compose should create a entry in the Blue Chatter uh, web app web containers uh, host file 
that uh, contains a, an entry pointing uh, to the IP address uh, for the Redis server. So we can confirm that just by do uh, by uh, opening uh, or logging into the uh, the Blue Chatter container. So if we do cf uh, ic uh, exec dash it and then specify the uh, container ID or name, uh, which is Blue Chatter underscore web underscore one and then say to use the bash shell here uh, we should uh, be able to log into that container uh, and then if we do cat uh, slash etc slash hosts we can see the host file for um, that container and we see that there is in fact an entry in the host file uh, for redis uh, that's pointing to the redis container and this is the IP address uh, of the Redis container uh, um, running in Bluemix. So uh, we see that entry there and uh, that uh, uh, worked uh, well when we did the Docker Compose up. So uh, if we exit out of here, um, the last uh, step to make this all work is to give the, uh, the web app container, uh, the Blue Chatter uh, container, uh, an IP address, a public IP address so we can access it in the browser. Uh, so uh, I already happen to have a uh, public IP address to use. So if I do CFIC IP list, we'll see I have an IP address here um, that I've already requested. And uh, we're going to go ahead and bind this IP address to the uh, Blue Chatter uh, web app container. So uh, we can do that by just running CF um, uh, IC IP bind and then specify the IP address which is uh, 169.44.0.192 and then the container name uh, which is uh, blue chatter underscore web underscore one and this should bind uh, this IP address to the container uh, so if we just go ahead and take a look uh, back in Bluemix here we should uh, in the UI see that we have uh, two containers now deployed uh, and, and running here in Bluemix, one for Redis and one for the Blue Chatter web app. And we see both those containers here. Um, and if we go ahead and take a look at the Blue Chatter web app here, this container. We're going to wait for it to finish doing its networking now that we've bound the IP address there. And once that's done, uh, then we should be able to go to this IP address and on port 80 and see the web app running. Okay, now that the uh, container is finished uh, networking itself, let's go ahead and uh, open this IP address here. And we see that uh, we have the web app here running. Um, so let's open um, uh, another tab here, another window here. Let's uh, do it in, let's not do it in Firefox. Let's do it in uh, Chrome. We have two different browsers working here. So let me get out of full screen mode. And we can move these over to be side by side like so and let's just load up this page in the other browser window as well so we'll say my username is Ryan and over here we have Bob and if I start typing here and say hello world there we go so we see that the web app is working it's using um, uh, the Redis uh, container and um, it, uh, it is uh, using both containers uh, simultaneously that we deployed uh, with, uh, with Docker Compose right to Bluemix. So uh, that's just a quick uh, a tutorial on, on how to use Docker Compose uh, with uh, Bluemix. Uh, so I hope you enjoy the new feature. Thanks.